From Livecopter 3, this is the closest to the trailhead fire one can get without having to hike hours into the steep remote canyon. And even getting to this vantage point is no walk in the park. Our crew had to be shuttled by ATVs thanks to a group of kind neighbors who are watching this fire line closely. It's been scary because we were up here for the King Fire and uh, got evacuated to Auburn and had to stay there for nine days and just worry. And they're having to watch it again. Over there. These Volcanoville neighbors were asked to evacuate, but instead have sent out chairs and are taking turns watching the fire. This time, they're leaving on their own terms. We feel since we can get up here as a group and actually watch the fire, see it, you know, real hand first time, that it doesn't pose a threat at this time. But I guarantee you if it gets closer than this, we'll be out of here. While they're keeping a close eye here, dozens of evacuees are at a local high school listening intently to updates on the fire. I learned that it's, it's a lot closer than I thought it was and that if it's mandatory, you got to get out of there. They're hoping their homes will still be there when this fire is finally under control. It's just scary, you know, leaving and not knowing if you're going to come back to your house. Everyone here and those waiting it out at home share the same fears. A lot of people have left. This neighbor even has 10,000 gallons of water and a fire hose just in case. I've got fire hose in place. The fire department came out here and looked at it and got a big grin on their face and said, you could help us fight it. The fire has burned 1,500 acres and is 12% contained. Reporting live in Georgetown, I'm Dana Griffin, KCRA 3 News. So Dana, we saw in your story where the bleachers were packed at that school tonight. After that meeting, did people feel leaving a little bit confident that their homes were going to be okay? You know, I got mixed feelings. Uh, many left feeling optimistic that firefighters are going to protect their homes. But I spoke to one woman who has a bad feeling about this one.